possibilities. Um, we've talked already about at least the multiplication rule for dependent events, and we said that the probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B given A. Okay? But sometimes we're interested in this thing. That's what we want to calculate. And so just using a little algebraic manipulation, we can say that the probability of B given A is equal to the probability of A and B, A and B, divided by the probability of A. Okay, the thing that's given. All right, so new branch on your flow chart, all right, that you're working on. Um, conditional probability, okay? Probability of B given A. Some key words are obviously given uh, and if, okay, just, you know, are they, are they saying this is only a probability under a certain condition? If it is, then they're asking me to find a conditional probability. So let's just look at a simple little table here. Whoa. Sure. Yes. Okay. All right, so here we have um, a little table that talks about the sexes of twins um, and whether or not they're identical or fraternal. So after having a sonogram, a pregnant woman learns that she will have twins. What is the probability that she will have fraternal twins? Okay, well, going back to our um, classical formula for probability, or really relative frequency, if these are observations, um, we're going to look at the number of fraternal twins, which is what? 20 over, all together, there are 30 children born, so we say two-thirds, or 0.66, okay? All right, so that's that, probability of fraternal twins. Now it goes on to say, after studying the sonogram more closely, the physician tells the woman that she will give birth to twins consisting of one boy and one girl. What is the probability that she will have fraternal twins? Now, they just told us something and we can't ignore that, okay? We now know that it's a boy and a girl, right? So these children up here, well these children and these children, they don't count anymore. They're not included because we know we have one boy and one girl. So now our total probability, what, we're, what I'm saying is we're looking at the probability that she will have fraternal twins given that we know it's a boy and girl. One boy, one girl. Not both at the same time. Okay? Um, and so fraternal twins in this case would be what? 100%. Okay, one. All right. You know if it's a boy and a girl, then it has to be fraternal twins. Right? We know that intuitively. Right? Y'all still with me? Okay, good. All right. So we kind of looked at just the table and we were able to calculate it from there. Okay, same situation. If the woman is told that she will give birth to fraternal twins, so we're given in this case what? twins, that they're fraternal twins, that's right, what is the probability that she will give birth to two girls? So we're interested in probability of two girls given fraternal twins. Okay, and so now, who are we only interested in? Which ones? Oops, I'm doing the wrong thing. That's okay. We know that they're what? Fraternal. So we're not interested in these anymore. 
we were given that they were fraternal in the, in the third part of the example. And so what's the probability that she'll have two girls is going to be what? 25%. Okay. Probability of two girls given that they're fraternal is 5 over the total number of fraternal, which was 20 or 0.25. Yes. Right. That's what I would think. Boy, girl, girl, boy. Uh, and so remember, when we uh, look at a lot of probabilities, we want to break it down into those simple events. You can't break it down any farther. And so it could be a boy for the first child, girl for the second, or girl for the second. That way, each of these outcomes is roughly um, equally likely. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Rule to use, that's exactly right. That's, that's all it's going to be. No, you can't take it in there, but hopefully it'll be imprinted on your brain. So, yeah. Review? Uh. Oh, yeah. All righty, moving on. Okay, we just got warmed up. Okay, let me have your attention. All right, we're back. It says, at a small college, the probability that a student takes physics and sociology is 0 0.092. The probability that a student takes sociology is 0.73. Find the probability that the student is taking physics given that he or she is taking sociology. Okay, so I've got my keyword here. All right, probability given. Okay, we're looking at the probability of physics given sociology. Now, with the table, we didn't use the formula. We could have, but we could kind of, you know, mark things out. We're given that it's this group, so we don't have to look at these others. But we don't have a table here. So we're going to use that formula um, that I showed you a few minutes ago, okay, which says the probability of physics given sociology is the probability of physics and sociology all over the probability of sociology. Okay, that's our formula. So now I'm going back to uh, the information given to me. And uh, the probability of physics and sociology is what? 0 0.092. And the probability of sociology is, okay, and so we pop that up on the calculator, we get what? Okay. Very good, point one two six, and it's done. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, we we kind of introduced it. <laughs> if you know, if you recognize that it's it's a conditional probability, yes, the table might have been a little tricky, you know. Um, but, but what I wanted to emphasize is when we say given, you don't ignore that. That's, that's really important. And in fact, as we interpret this, let me have your attention, please. Um, when we interpret this, one way of saying is, of those people who are taking sociology, 12.6% of them are also taking physics. Okay. The sociology in this case is given. All right. And so... That's, that's kind of where we start. All right, that's, that's how we interpret this. Let's look at this next one. Not so bad. Also, hopefully. Um, in a pizza restaurant, 95% of the customers order pizza. If 65% of the customers order pizza and a salad, find the probability that a customer who orders pizza will also order a salad. So we're talking about probability 
Of what? What are we even looking for? So how do we write that? What's our math notation? Salad given pizza. Okay, you got it. Yes, you did. All right, probability of salad given pizza. And so our formula for that is probability of salad and pizza divided by probability of what? Pizza. We divide by the probability of the thing that's given. Okay? So, very good. 0.65 over 0.95, which comes up to 0.684. Very good. Yes? That's right. It's conditional probability. It might not say given exactly, but when they said uh, find the probability that a customer who orders pizza is given that the customer is getting pizza will also order a salad. That's how we knew it was conditional probability. That one can be a little sneaky. Okay. All right, the probability that it snows and the bus arrives late is 0 0.023. John hears the weather forecast. And there's a 40% chance of snow tomorrow. Find the probability that the bus will be late given that it snows. Okay, so we're talking about what? Probability of late given snow. Okay, there's a difference between late and snow and late, right, late given snow. So we're looking at this. And so we're going to look at the probability of late and snow over the probability of snow. Okay? And so the probability that it snows and the bus arrives late is 0 0.023. Probability of snow is, okay, so we get what? 0 0.575. Okay, 0 0.0575. Okay, questions about conditional probability. All right. Yes. Okay. Um, why don't you take a look at this next one on your own, and then we'll talk about it. Okay, so 13% of the employees of a large company are female technicians. 40% of its workers are technicians. If a technician has been assigned to a particular job, what is the probability that the person is female? Okay, so what are we looking for? Probability of what? <laughs> Female given technician. Okay. Very good. And so the formula for that is... Okay, female and technician. Okay, very good. Probability of technician, because that was the given. Okay, what's the probability of female and technician? Okay, 0.13 for female and technician. Okay, and then probability of technician is 40. Very good. And so we get what? 0.325. Y'all got it.